What do you think it is, guys? I don't know. Well, it's a live birds. It's a live bird. All right. So we're gonna have a little pep talk game session with our viewers here. So we got this box in the mail today. We did not know it was coming. These are apparently live birds. We do not know what's in here. We do want to say thank you to the viewer that sent these to us. We do appreciate it. But we do need to know if anybody is ever thinking about sending us something. We've gotten some eggs recently. We've gotten some birds. If you're thinking about sending us something, please check with us first. There's a number of reasons, but we need to make sure we have space, that it fits into our plan with what we're doing here on the farm, that we're here to actually be able to get it. So please check with us first. Don't just send us something. Please check with us. <laughs> with that said, let's find out what's inside. All right, we've got a letter on here. It says to read the letter before we open this up. I know these, these boxes do cost quite a bit themselves, and then it was $54 in postage. So I know it's an investment to send us something like this. We are definitely grateful for that. But hi, Jake. Still check with us. Sending these. So you can see what they look like. Please enjoy them. Grown. They can be trained too. So Steven says these can be trained. Let's, let's figure out what that's about. Yes, what do you think's in here? Pheasants. You think they're pheasants? Yeah. Oh. There's way more than four. So many. I saw so many. I didn't even count. Alright, Becky, you wanna pick these out of here? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see his eyes peeking in the thing. That's so cute. You see the birds? Do you see the birds? Oh, 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 This is a sleepy one. Falls asleep. Oh man, that is cool. We haven't had quail yet. It's just small. It's new to the farm. <laughs> These are Tennessee red quail. The hands over the wings, please. Oh, hang on, buddy. You can pet it. You can pet it. 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 Pet Asleep, I Crazy. I just down. That was creepy. Well, where are we gonna put them? I think we're gonna have to build a new, new cage for them. Well, these birds are pretty cool. Thank you so much, Stephen, for sending these. But we do need to find a place to put them. So that's gonna be our task today: is to build them a quail. So we're coming back here to the shed got a couple of brooders in there. We can put them in there, give them some food and water while we're mm -hmm. trying to build their new house today. All right, we've got one of our brooders already here with some food and water. So let's move the quail. They seem pretty small. These are, these can't be full size, can they, Becky? I, I think they are. You think these are full size? I don't know. They're so tiny. These yeah. are like baby chickens. These are so tiny. All right, I'm out here in the garage and I'm getting ready to work on our quail house. And I've got a pallet, I've got some boards. I've been working on this design for a few different types of birds. And I'm hoping that it'll work all right for these quail, that they'll be able to go up and down, but it'll give them a lot of vertical space. So I'm hoping they'll like it. Let's put it together. All right, what do you guys think so far? Can you tell how it's gonna look? I would say that I would come up with plans for this, but it depends on what size pallet. And I found some very specific pallets that are fairly heavy to keep the structure from being too top heavy. Isaiah was helping me mow and he fell asleep. So I'm gonna just put him down in the yard. Hey bud. 
You have a good nap? Hey, bud. We're building over here. You want to come play with us? Come on. All right, this is where we can get really fun and creative. We're going to make some roosting bars or places for the quail to play around on before I put the hardware cloth and tin over. Instead of just putting some regular poles here, we'll put some natural poles. This will be a lot of fun. This is the bottom layer here. We've got where they can poop through and we can clean it out there. And then their bottom layer, and then they can hop up to there. I hope they can make it. We'll have to see how that works out. Then they go up to there. We'll have a hanging water right in here, up to their nesting box, and then up to their feed right up top. All right, we are working late into the evening. Becky's over here hard at work on the hardware cloth on the door, right Becky? Yep. It's her last job and then she can go finish up dinner. It's gonna be a late one, but I'm getting ready to put the metal sheeting over the top. So as soon as I get that done, we're ready to take this outside and get the quail moved in tonight. What's going on? Burning! So much smoke! Well, it's late at night, but we still want to get the quail moved in, so let's get this moved across the yard over by the emu house and get the quail moved in. Think I can move it across the yard? You got to. You're the man. All right, let's get some quail. Here they get two. Two. Two for this. All right, thanks for your help. We'll check on them in the morning when we do chores, okay? Okay. We're okay. checking, checking in the morning. And I'm going to wake up for you. They look comfortable. Uh -huh. Who's crowing? That guy right there. He looks like a rooster. Maybe a white Moran's. They could be a cool, pretty cool breed, even though they are just all white. So Becky, how do you think the new coop is going for the Bandon flock? I think it's working out really well. I was afraid it was going to be too small, but I think they, it works out. We just moved our chicks up to new grass today. Let's check and see how they're doing. These guys are kind of easy to catch. <laughs> Golden Polish at about two months old. This is our hook bill duck at six or seven weeks. Ducks. Looking really cool. I like the color. This on. is the red shouldered Yokohama. Let's see that coloring back there. So this is a combination of guineas. We had pearl and the purple. Oh, well, this purple coloring on the head, right? So cool. <laughs> He's probably about a six pounder. Woo. All right, for comparison, there's our biggest Cornish cross to our biggest ginger broiler. This one's maybe three, four pounds, uh, half to three fourths the size of that big Cornish cross. Okay, today is August 1st. We have been on this farm for one full year. It's crazy to think. What's the thing you're most impressed about that we've done so far? We've done the, we built a garden. We've got a milk cow. We've got a milk cow. Working on the fence of the property. Yeah. What's your favorite memory from our first year on the farm so far? Sleeping out in the barn with as a family when Maisie was born was pretty fun. I've never done that before. That was quite a night. <laughs> Bamboo, what's going on, bud? Well, you guys have been really awesome in all of your messages for Bamboo, as you can see here. It's, it's all dried up along here. Not really much sign of any new feathers yet, but everything's been really calm with bamboo and the girls being separated for now. 
we'll figure something out and we'll eventually get a second area built so we can give them some more area to, to roam, separate of each other, but everything is going well and Bamboo seems really happy. All right, well, we put the quail house over here by the emus. Maybe they'll keep them company, I don't know. But uh, one, it's right by this shed, which we store a lot of our feet in. And so we've got some area here. And here you may have seen us working on another one of these. We've got a couple other future projects that we're gonna have right here as well. So let's check in on the quail. So this quail house is about, it's about seven feet tall, but it's about six feet of space in there. We've got a mesh floor down here, and then it's got a foot of space underneath, and then poop and food will fall through the bottom. We've got it open here on the end so we can sweep it out from each side. You saw us put the branches in so they can hop from level to level. We've got water right here. So Becky put this together. We had seen something like this on Amazon or eBay. And so Becky just fashioned some wiring and some zip ties to help hold these type of waters up from a hook. Debated about what to do with this, if I'm gonna make this a nesting box area or a feed area. Initially I was gonna put feed in here and just have them eat out of this area. And then we could dump it out and clean it. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make this like their bedding or nest box area where we just put some hay or straw in here. And then that way we can easily collect the eggs when they start to lay eggs. We've got a feed container up there right now. We'll get a few more of those um, so they'll be able to eat up top. But that's where they're all hanging out right now. You like how it turned out? I did, I don't know if it's gonna be suitable for them because we've never had them. We don't know if they fly around or not, but it looks pretty cool. So we were told that these are able to be trained and we have no idea. So let us know what we could do to train these and what kind of things they do. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for the viewer that sent us these birds. We do appreciate it, but if you're at home and you're thinking about sending us something, please send us a message first. <laughs> this did take us uh, some time away from our other projects, so I'm glad we were available to do it, but we may not always be able to do that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah, I see, oh, now I see the claws hooking into it. Oh. <laughs>